Remember when I used to do the uh, the other place? That's oh, cool. I remember you were the dog. I was the dog. Like twice. <laughs> you were the dog, bro. Yeah. It was just Toto. Had, I was, just was not it? good. Was it Toto? Yeah. Toto, Toto. 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 What was that from? From, um, from um, what, Wizard of Oz. What's Yeah, I kind of want to just do it. one clap, all right? Three, two, one. <laughs> all right, guys, we're I back. We're all going to hear that in the audio because I ain't cutting it. Oh, yeah, that's going to be loud. <laughs> oh, my God. No. All right. But uh, as you guys see, we have a new guest with us here. So for today's episode of the Unmastered Podcast, our guest is a dancer and an artist. He's been doing shows and dancing for years now, winning awards, and was even a mini pop kid. Not only d- that, he and his team, the Renegades, came top three in the finals of Canada's Got Talent this year. We're excited to hear more about accomplishments and experiences, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alexander Fanetta. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. There we go. Welcome. Just a little intro for you, but yeah, if you want to just introduce yourself, what you do, yeah. you know, let the yeah. people know. Let us know. I mean, um, that kind of covered a lot. I've been dancing for almost 10 years now. Um... Yeah, I started making music like here and there, but then recently I'm starting to like get more on it, but it's so hard with like scheduling and everything that I can't really like find time for it. But um, yeah, I half Greek, half Italian. <laughs> I don't know what else to say really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. But, Julian covered it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say, like, I don't know what else that, to say. That's himself. a first. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely Usually people more. keep going on because he didn't miss everything. Yeah, no, no. they're like, yeah, well, actually, I do uh, seven other careers. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> But um, yeah, so you started dancing ten years ago. You said did it yeah. just come to you naturally, like or? Um, I would always dance with like at like weddings or like even like in my stroller. Um, and my parents like I didn't really know choreography was a thing. I just liked dancing. And then uh, my parents were like, okay, well, in the winter if he's not gonna do soccer, was was he gonna do like stay like active? Yeah. And then so yeah, they put me in dance. Um, yeah, and then I it it took me like maybe like four years before I started taking it like seriously. And then, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, because I was looking back on your Instagram and like it goes so far back, like all the things you've done, like you've done a lot, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's been it's been like a like nonstop dry, like grind for it. But yeah, no, it's really, it's really exciting because like, I mean, it's kind of all I've done for so long. So I'm so used to it now. But um, looking back, like it has been like a lot of stages that I've like been proud of. For sure. Yeah. How many shows do you think you've done? Like, um, like live, I mean, like I shows, like and competitions. I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't even. I don't even Not know. Right? Yeah, because like for each year we would do like at like like dance studios, yeah. we would do um probably like three competitions, and then within those depends how many dances you're in. If you're in like. I don't know. Usually I'll be in like not many. Some some girls do like seventeen. I would stick to like four, or three or two even like I did, one one year I did seven and it was too much but yeah so like multiply that by like every year and then side things and then um with renegades we do a lot of like uh competitions and then uh performances here and there uh yeah it's like it's, it's i don't know I, I can't count yeah. <laughs> for sure it's like asking like how many hockey practices yeah, to do. yeah. yeah. i mean yeah. for music yeah. is zero so oh, yeah. i haven't performed live yet which is like Possibly a goal in of mine. the future yeah yeah and sick. how long have you been doing the music too like starting to well okay so making my own music a while but not consistently yeah yeah like i had uh i had a song I don't even know what year it was. It felt like forever ago. But when I say the year, like I think it was like 2018, my first song. It doesn't sound like that long ago, but it was like ages ago. I remember going into like high school or it might have been, yeah, 2017, 2018. I remember going into high school and I was like, some people like, like the song, like, but I was embarrassed of it at that point already. So it might have been like 2017. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm not proud of those songs, but uh, not because like, I, I was the guy I was working with, he was great and everything. It was more just like, Looking back, I'm like, I was also young. Like, yeah. What yeah. am I going to do? Like, I'm How 14. old are you now, man? I'm 18 turning 19, so I'm an 03. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So you've been making the music for like four years now, give or take. Like, yeah, it, is, like it, is so- it sounds like, like it sounds like too long to say four years just because like I literally am not able to work on it for like long periods of time. Yeah. So I would say collectively, it would be like even like under one year oh, yeah, of yeah. like actually working on mm-hmm. music. Uh, it's just so hard to find time 
dance takes up like so much of my life and then like full-time school and also school doesn't stop because I go to um, a school that does like 10 weeks on three weeks off for two years so I go right through summer like right now I'm still in school and wow. everything oh okay okay so you're juggling a lot then <laughs> busy yeah. man yeah, so <laughs> busy. <laughs> yeah and uh the way we found out about you was because we've known skira and then you did the song with skira yeah. you released that banger the video was fire and shit and then uh, roy. That, that's well, how i uh, killed that. yeah roy was roy and jack yeah so uh and then we yeah we found out about you and we're like man this guy's dope checked all your stuff and we wanted you on the pod so i appreciate it no i like i was so like honored that you guys like asked oh, yeah, me i was like damn this is so sick because i like i've seen people do podcasts and everything but to be actually like asked to be in one was crazy yeah. well we heard a lot about you on the scare episode he yeah there's like a whole like <laughs> yeah, section on YouTube video. Video. Yeah, about it. i was like yo like he really fucks with you it's so crazy. like you know we had to hit you up after that man i appreciate it yo he's a good guy you guys are sick too yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Um, so yeah, let, I, I say we just get into like a big part here. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to like go like chronologically a little bit. Like take us yeah, when you were a kid. A yeah. Because you you were in what kids bobs or yeah what? mini okay. pop kids. Oh, mini pop kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Start from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Let's start start from there and then take us to like kind of current day. Right? For sure. So the way I got into uh, mini pops was from uh, I was in the Raptors dance pack, for, like the junior dance pack. Okay. So, so now you got to like go the, even more back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before. Um. And then they were looking for dance. So I've always like enjoyed making like or like singing whatever. Like at that age, like I was like 11, 10, whatever, 10, 11. So I wasn't really making music, but I enjoyed like singing, performing. Um, and then they were looking for dancers, but, uh, so they, I think they scouted at like whatever the Raptors, like kids, whatever. And then, yeah. And then they just, they asked me to, I think just do a show with them. I think it was at living arts center. I think the first one was, if I'm not mistaken. And then I think they asked if I could rap. And then I was like, I was like, yeah, I could probably just like just figure out like, I've been rapping for fun so like I could probably figure it out and then I did a I did one show only one song um and that was like f it happened like really fast like I found out and then like whatever I had to go like try it out um and then they ended up liking me and then asking me to uh like stay on with it um and then I was on mini pops for like I think I want to say two and a half or something I don't, I don't even know. I was on two albums, but I don't know how many years exactly that was. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a it was a crazy experience even getting into it because I didn't know what to expect. Like, I'm like, I'm not I, I never thought of myself. If Bro, if I auditioned, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have gotten on because I went to the audition after like as an actual like member to just we were all there. We see the, like the kids or whatever. And it was like a pretty like intense like like singing whatever like i don't really sing sing like that yeah. it's it's like i do like melodic ambient rap whatever i don't know it's always like the genres are changing so i don't know like whatever like i want to say like travis scott but like you know um it's lit. <laughs> you know like eli sastre do you know that guy Who? eli i don't know if i'm saying his name right or like ellie or eli sastre no, i don't know he's sick but like, i, I actually like making like the ambient sound but I'm not really like a singer, so sure. I would not have gone anywhere on that right, audition. Because right. yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been like, it, it, it's because they were looking for a dancer and they're like, oh, can you rap? And then I got in and then yeah. I would do like a couple singing things. Here You've and there. technically been making music, what, for like your whole no. life? Yeah, <laughs> that I mean, like, boy, dude. singing Just yeah. Justin Bieber no, songs, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then the, the Raptors thing you were talking about, like, you were like, like, what did you do for that? Like, half, like the halftime shows, maybe? Like, yeah. for example, when it was yeah. halftime, you dance on the um, first one? That one was like a, a sick experience in itself. Uh, it would it would be like a lot of the like timeouts. So we would go on for maybe like a minute or two minutes. And no, sorry, not even like probably like forty five to a minute, and just cut. And that was our whole day. Or maybe we would do it twice, but that was our whole day. So we're there until from like I have to leave school. It felt so sick to leave school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then um, people still made fun of me because like it was called little ballas. Because oh, it's like yeah. the like the the junior dance pack, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'm like, how are they making fun of me? Yeah. Like, this yeah, is like so other. sick. What do yeah, you mean? Yeah. Like, I was so happy about it, and then they just. Well, what would they make fun of though? Well, they're just jealous, you know. Be, but being a dancer or any yeah, any too, artist like, cares, type thing at like a public school, yeah, like sure. it wasn't like heavy for bullying, sure. but it wasn't like the norm. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. So what you're was, doing the Raptors stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, doing that, I. We, like we do the 
half times only at uh, um, Christmas. So we do the Christmas one. And that one was crazy because uh, I was like, I was 11 or 12 year old me wearing like Christmas pajamas. It was like a Grinch theme. Yeah. And then I'm walking down the hall. Drake's walking beside me. We're not allowed to talk to him uh, or go up to him. But I looked over. I was like, Oh shit! <laughs> and then and then he saw me and then he was like, "Oh, what's up, man?" Like like because he no like way. saw that I was like, "Oh yeah. my god!" Right? Yeah, yeah, so he's like wow. just being like Drake, just the nice guy, and yeah, that was the craziest thing ever. He like dap me up with my small hand, and then <laughs> and then yeah, it was just like he's like, "I heard your raps." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like fully like whatever you would think you would say to someone as like a lot of time, I yeah. love your music. Yeah, I've yeah. seen every music video you've made. If you ever need anything, or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, yeah, yeah. whatever I said, <laughs> but it was, it was the craziest like, experience. And that was actually really cool. Cause I also got to do the all-star game. Ooh. Um, yeah. So I was grateful for that. And I, I got to see like, <laughs> like Guy Fieri. Oh, yeah. wow. um, just ran so many people. Cause it was, that was when Toronto held it. Mm, so yeah, I was just oh, mad yeah. lucky that it was in oh, Toronto there, at that yeah. point. Like Otherwise 2016. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I swear I peaked at 12, bro. I was, <laughs> I was like... Didn't we all? <laughs> that same year, I did the Justin Bieber thing. And I'm like, oh my God. So like in one year and then after that... No, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. fine. But um, yeah, it was it was crazy, bro. Like you see like... I, I didn't see Beyonce, but she was in the building. So just wow. thinking of that was crazy. Yeah. Um, dapped up LeBron. Yo, oh, that's, that's insane. Cool. His hands are really like like hard though. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. one thing. Bro, like they're like yeah, leather, yeah. leather, bro. Oh, they're yeah. leather hands, eh? Wow. Yeah. No, uh, Isaiah Thomas. Curry was on the other side. So like, cause uh, there's like the east side bench and then the west side. So we exited off the east side and then like that's him whatever, like going across the line. It was it was crazy. That's cool. That's cool. So, yeah, At that age, met- I didn't know half of their names, but I knew him. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah, you've met a lot of people, like a lot of athletes too, while going to these games. Yeah. And do you I mean, get- like I wouldn't really say like met, but okay. Just okay. Had interaction. Had met, yeah. but yeah, exactly. Like I feel like met is like a whole like this. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you ever get nervous, man? Like what you said, you were ten, eleven, going in front of these crowds, like at games, dancing, like yeah. How's that? Um, not really. I mean, like. I feel like it's, I've always said it's easier to like dance for like 20,000 than two. And you can probably say that for like, even for like, if you were to have to like say a speech to like a whole group of people that you can't even like see their faces. And then if it would just be like, just like me and him, just like watching you do a speech, it'd be like, ugh. but it's honestly not like terrible at all. Um, if anything, like it just amps you up more. Cause like being a dancer, being a performer, that's what you like strive for. Mm-hmm. So like just having that, it does get nervous before, but then when you're on, yeah. you're good. And like, especially there, like everyone watching, they're not going to judge you. Even if you do mess up, I mean, you don't want to mess up, but like, mm-hmm. they're not going to care. They're not even there for you. They're there for like the, the players. Right. Um, and then you mentioned something about Justin Bieber about that year too. Like what, what, uh, what happened? With yeah. You? Um, that one was video submission. So it was like a, a YouTube thing. So it was for like, I think nine to 12 year olds. Um, and I was, I, I was 12. So like I was almost <laughs> not yeah, being able yeah. to submit, but, uh, I woke up on, I woke up on like one day just going, like it was like a Wednesday or something. Like I was about to go to school. And then my mom's like, I saw this thing on Facebook. Cause like one of my friends liked it, like, like the actual, like, like, yeah. uh, what's it called the, like post. the challenge or yeah, okay, whatever yeah. post it was saying to submit for it. And then she was like, you got to do this. And I was like, okay. And <laughs> then at that time I had like the whole hairdo. So my dad, I'm sitting on the thing, learning the choreo. It, I, I woke up at, I think like eight fifteen, and the last time for submission was nine o'clock that morning. So I had to miss first period of school. And then, um, yeah, so I was doing my hair, learning the choreo, whatever, trying to get dressed and then submitted it. We had to like make a YouTube account. Cause like it wasn't even mine. It was my mom's YouTube account. Cause we didn't even have an account. So it was so stressful. And then uploading it, we didn't realize that uploading took like a yeah. long time, yeah, yeah. Yeah. especially <laughs> back then, even slower, yeah. like everything was slower. Um, I say back then, like it wasn't like, yeah. <laughs> like a couple years. six years ago, oh, okay. like, yeah. um, but yeah, so we submitted it, whatever waiting, uh, it was like you have to use a hashtag and then like put it in like the uh, the caption um, so they could search it up and then find that. Um, yeah, so they they chose uh, four dancers f- 
per night for each city. So like for Toronto, they chose uh, for one night for the next night. So I think I was night two, I think. I can't remember. I don't know. Mm -hmm. None of it matters. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I was, I, was one of the, I was one of the eight that was chosen. And that was like, I was in class. Um, I, take, I, I would take classes with uh, Busy Boom. He's like a dance hall teacher. Sick guy. Um, and we were really close with him. I was taking his class. And then he, he made up like this story where he's like, oh, who wants to come do like a video on Wednesday? And then I obviously like everyone in the video, like it like was like, oh, I want to be in the video, right? So we put our hands up and he's like, oh, it, it was me and this other girl that were in that room, uh, Kyla. I was actually in, like in like last summer, I was in a, a movie with her. Um, so Kyla, so she was, he was like, oh, but you guys can't come. And we're like, Why? And then, well, obviously, like, we're like, okay, like, we're not gonna, like, argue it. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, because you guys are uh, performing with Justin Bieber. And we're like, huh? And then my parents come in with, like, recording. They're like, yeah. It was, it was crazy, man. And, like, especially, like, I was always a big, big fan of him. Like, it wasn't just, like, like, that was, like, my guy. It was probably, like, him and Drake. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, so, like, you, you were a believer. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Um, I watched like the Never Say Never movie with my dad in the theaters. Oh yeah, that was good. Crazy, but <laughs> yeah, that was that was a dream. Like it was it was so scary though. Like leading up to it, I was so excited. Mm -hmm. And then before going on, it was just like probably like it would it would be like roughly like the same or even less. It was it was in um well at the time it was Air Canada, but now it was like Scotia Bank, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be the same amount of people as the Raptors games. But even less because they have one side yeah, facing, yeah. right? So they have that whole part. Well, I guess it was more packed than, but so it was way more scary than like any Raptors game, mm -hmm. just because there was lights. It was the whole like thing, like Justin Bieber, like you can't mess up. Mm. That was probably like the craziest experience. But it also went by so fast, so like I really like yeah. take it in until like after, and even now like. It just felt so like crazy to think like even when I when I see Justin Bieber or whatever I don't think like oh like I, I I met him it's more like a just like it didn't happen in a way but I know it did but it just it just it's weird because like things happen so fast you don't even take them in especially when you're gonna perform right you black out yeah. whatever happens happens that's um, crazy you so you never really had problem with like nerves like especially on like a stage oh like always that. every always, time yeah, it's, yeah. I always have like nerves but um. Okay, like Justin Bieber's one. Yeah. <laughs> the most nerves like probably ever. Um but yeah, you always you always have nerves. It's more like it's not enough to like impact yeah. my performance yeah. for the nerves. So wait, how old were you when the, during the Justin when you did the Justin Bieber? 12. One? And you were like a backup dancer, I guess, or just Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Like I was I was trying to see like cuz you're like a young kid, right? Like if you mess up, are they like really like strict on you or are they like, "Oh, he's a kid, like it's okay." Cause, or it's like Honestly, like it wasn't like a paid thing. Yeah, yeah, um yeah. it was like honestly just do like no one messed up i don't think anyone messed up often speaking of mess ups um we didn't get to rehearse it with him so we heard the actual audio right so i was waiting for his vocal cue of like that certain part of the song but when he was performing it you know like they don't always sing every moment sure, of it yeah. so i i knew it was coming up but i didn't know exactly because obviously you're in like the whole scene and then it was like it was a uh, it was a song like children. That's why they brought the like like kids over, right? It was in the part was a and then you start right. Um, but do it right before that because he didn't sing that certain section. I was like, is it coming up or? <laughs> and then so I was like, you know what? I'll just start doing the dance. It was I think it was like something like this. I'll start doing the dance and then if it's not that, I'll just like 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 freestyle it out of it and yeah, like yeah. and then restart whenever it starts again. Yeah. But thank God I did that because if I didn't, I would have completely missed the cue. Because everything, like, they also have drums. Picture playing the song on your phone versus, like, the whole drums and him singing. So it's completely different. Oh, yeah. They didn't, like, we had one, like, probably, like, five minutes of running it on stage. The weirdest thing, like, to, like, do it on stage after. But it all went well, <laughs> thank God. Yeah. And then after that, we, we my mom was, uh, we got, like, tickets in the pit. Mm -hmm. And then... We saw Post Malone open for him, but Post Malone wasn't even like big. He all he had was like White Iverson. Yeah, yeah. that was it. So yeah. he wasn't even like big at that time. Posty. And yeah, right. Like it's crazy. Like and now he's like selling out like Post arenas. Yeah. Crazy man. Yeah. Um. But yeah, my mom didn't get the greatest video because of her angle that she was at. 
I even I think I I got tickets for Christmas that were in the balcony that my like so we tried to sell two of them but it, like my dad was like scalping just to like have yeah. them sold <laughs> but and then he sat in one of them um and his video was too far away hers was too close yeah <laughs> ironically um and then we were we were just sitting um have you ever been to like a Raptors game yeah or, yeah yeah of course <laughs> so okay, when you leave like the the main gate where there's like that hallway I don't even know what section that is like one side you can go to like Jurassic Park section whatever sure, right yeah, yeah. uh we were just sitting there because I was like we're just like chilling and then there's one lady I was wearing all white because I was like I want to be like memorable mm -hmm. whatever right there's one lady she's like oh you're the one of the dancers and I was like yeah and then um i was like how did you know and then she was like oh i got a video and that's the only video i use oh, now good. because she had like the crispiest video i'll like i'll send it to you guys i don't know maybe you can like, show it or something yeah, <laughs> um yeah, yeah. it was like the crispiest video and like a perfect angle of like my side because it was like it was like four right so if you're on this side you're gonna not see me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. craziest if it wasn't for that i wouldn't have a good shot of it because they don't record or send it to you right, right, yeah, yeah so i'm like i wouldn't have had anything uh, yeah luck for i was gonna sure. say you probably have to find something on youtube someone's gone someone uploaded yeah something, literally. You know? well, that's crazy that she <laughs> actually she took that it. like of your that's side like what are the odds that she like got man that, right? and like, it, was, it was like the perfect angle yeah i'm very grateful i don't even know her name and like that helps a lot with like you getting other like gigs and stuff right or yeah i mean or like i, I mean like how that like works. you don't really have to show proof but like, like you kind of just resumes yeah, enough yeah, but yeah. it was more for like just having it right yeah, that's you like, just want that yeah, because if I like, like we had like a video, but it wasn't the greatest. Like it was shaky, whatever. And she was so stable. <laughs> yeah. It's just so like God blessing. <laughs> like I don't know, man. Nothing better than a crispy yeah. video. The only thing we've come close to like performing something live was like probably in elementary school, and you had to look at dances oh, and like Christmas and stuff. <laughs> like, what are you saying? Well, right like now? you're saying like performing you're, in front of your class. What are you doing? No, right? yeah, you know, like the, the <laughs> shows you do in front of all the parents. I'm trying to say that's I'm like, like the yeah, closest I'm, thing we've I'm had. exactly like you. Yeah, but isn't that what every kid does? We can put that video there too. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Like, so one year actually, one year actually when we did the, uh, my Christmas this guy thing, performs. dude, he sells out arenas. Um, <laughs> fucking what's it called? Uh, like a kid, like we were supposed to go at the end of the stage and like sit down, but because you know how holy they had that like rubber thing that kind of blocked people from falling right. in. So the kid tripped over it and he was standing beside me. So all the parents thought I pushed him off the stage. <laughs> so like, he fell off the stage and shit. There's a video no. of that too. But like, there's and a then, video of that? And then I, think, I hope I think, there's a video yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that some parents have it. And then, sure, I think we need to see that. <laughs> that remember, remember me and you also did a, a dance uh, camp one time? And we performed That's like rock. So we did a dance camp? Yeah. No, we did acting. We did a play like camp. Camp yeah, Rock, like, yeah, yeah, Camp Rock. Like, oh, no, nice. like, exactly. Camp Rock. No, who the hell's in the uh, Demi Lovato oh, the and Jonas Lovato. Brothers? Oh, the Jonas. But like, we were on separate teams. Yeah, and, and doing an audition. I didn't I get a. Uh, I didn't get to be one of the Jonas Brothers, but <laughs> I was like uh, one of those side. Bro, you characters. fully look like him now. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, maybe you got to apply for the next one. Enough, I don't know. <laughs> so then. I was just like a side. You you actually applied for a Jonas Brother role? No, well, like you just <laughs> audition, <laughs> an audition, like in front you of just like audition. A they pick who you play. So like you you applied for Jonas. You hope for what? Oh, you yeah, hope. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just doing I mean, shows in front of that, I was fine. already nervous. So that's why I can't Can imagine, imagine this guy's in front of. We wouldn't be doing this yeah, podcast yeah. if you weren't were a Jonas Brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's good shit. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that stuff, man. You, wait, you guys actually like applied like no, we, it, it was, was a, a camp, camp a summer camp oh i thought it was camp. like an acting no, like role you were trying to get no, it was a summer oh camp. it was literally uh, like what was what was the camp called i don't know I no, rock. it was just rock. Like camp, camp rock, rock. rock or something. they did camp rock that year that was for the, the play theme, right like, that was the play there was a play too that yeah we no, had like to do that's like one of the that was the play oh the camp was the camp was like an acting camp <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, I felt like you guys just went to a camp called no, like, no, Camp no. Rock. <laughs> the camp was an acting camp, so they did that. So right. like we practiced throughout the whole thing, and then That's there was sick. a show at the end. Oh, okay, okay. Honestly, I was always too nervous <laughs> yeah. to do like anything with like um like vocals on stage mm -hmm. or even like any like because we did like plays like Shakespeare, like yeah, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. And uh, I always wanted the least amount of lines because I was like I was always so nervous about like just public speaking. Okay. So I was the tech guy. Yeah, the, okay, the knobs yeah, yeah. in the oh, back yeah. or curtain guy now you're on the podcast but that was my choice <laughs> yeah. that was my choice i like they they obviously want everyone to do it like i would do in class i would read okay but then just for like the actual performances i was too nervous for it mm -hmm. i'm like i'd rather i'd rather not you you, you want to do the movements instead yeah i'd rather no, no. i mean i learned about like gain 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gain, right? like gain, like, yeah, exactly. Like gain <laughs> state, like yeah. someone had feedback. The my jobs are low. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you gotta work for us, man. <laughs> yeah, help oh, us yeah. with the uh, audio here. Well, <laughs> Scoot, <Remember Scare>? <laughs> sit on the table. Yeah. Uh, who is that guy? Under the- oh yeah, that's Alex. <laughs> He's our gain guy. He just does gain. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the only joke. gain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he's the gain guy. Nothing okay. else. Yeah. Remember when I used to do the uh, the other place? That's oh, cool. I remember you were the dog. I was the dog. Like twice. <laughs> you were the dog, bro. Oh it was just Toto. Had, I was, just was not it? good. Was it Toto? Yeah. Toto, Toto. 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 What was that from? From, um, from um, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say was Wizards of Waverly Place. He was a dog in a plate. <laughs> I literally had to bark. On yeah, but stage. his bark. Remember his bark? Can, can you recreate the bark? Uh, I still know. Come on. We need to hear bark, this. Dude. I remember it was just rough, rough. He didn't even do like a like an actual dog. Yeah, because I was like, what the fuck is this? Here's your chance to like make that rough better. Come on, I want, I want like a wolf one. The focus. <laughs> Rough. No, 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 no. Do the one where, remember? That's what we had to No, um, Yeah, this is But quality. I was so mad because <laughs> everyone else, like, I was like, this play, you know, it's got yeah. the magical, like, animals that talk. And I was like, you I'm just, just a dog run. that has to bark. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> but you're Toto, though. <laughs> Our parents are going. I don't know the names of the other animals. So. <laughs> Our parents are going videotaping this, and their son's a, a dog just going rough, rough, <laughs> <laughs> spending gas money to see you say rough, rough. The, the height of your acting so career <laughs> was that. Uh, okay, Come on, man, I auditioned too. I sang. <laughs> did it, like for real, like for the real parts. It's like when you get like a part- like, and like okay, like, you're gonna be the like dog. <laughs> yeah, that's like saying like you're horrendous. You're gonna yeah. be the dog. Yeah. Like, we want you to be in the the show, but like yeah. not saying anything of yeah. meaning. Yeah. You could be the dog and woof a couple of times <laughs> not even rough like <laughs> rough rough and then you know what we gotta make this kid happy he's gonna yeah, cry yeah. if he's That's, not in the fucking imagine thing. if you messed up the timing too oh yeah <laughs> alright so we're approaching we're approaching an ad break here so we'll go That's to a good. quick break and, and we'll be back sick right, we're back from that we're ad back, break we're back we're back <laughs> Toto Toto in the cut and we got that <laughs> Alex right here let's go it's gonna become my thing now what that you're Toto? Yeah. Well, technically, you're kind of like still like that. We do the podcast. You don't say anything the whole time. And I'm the wolf. And you go sometimes. woof woof. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> no, you're you've the been king and the good sting and the. It's <laughs> the king and the sting and the Toto. <laughs> Your yeah, check yeah. has to be woof woof. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> all right, yeah, it's good. It's good. We gotta put that in our next song, but yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so <laughs> the Renegades. Let's just talk about a little bit about your team. Like, when did you start? Does that have like, anything to do with the TikTok trend, like the Renegades? Renegade thing? God, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, do you guys so, ever do the renegade? Yeah, no, that's no, the no. real question here. No, <laughs> no. not at all. Renegade. Wait, so that that actual like that song um, was by I think uh, K Camp. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, and it was sick. And we we're like, oh, that's so so that's so cool. That he like he said that, and then. And then it became a trend, and we we're like, "Oh, oh Lord, oh, here it goes." Lord. And then oh. after that, everyone that we're gonna like say like our name to is gonna think, like, "Oh man." Like, <laughs> so what do what do actual dancers think about TikTok dancing? Like about doing the renegade and stuff. I feel like there's there's different like <laughs> there's different levels of like TikTok choreo. Yeah. So I guess like the really basic stuff. I mean, like people do it for fun. Like we don't yeah, hate on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's like a lot of dancers. Like personally, I don't I don't hate on it. I just don't do them myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I should, though. Cause yeah, like, that's like, probably really yo, I feel like that's kind <laughs> of just in the lane. Everything's TikTok yeah. now. Yeah. And yeah. It, it just, like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not on, like, the TikTok grind because I've been doing Instagram for so long. Mm-hmm. I feel like Instagram's, like, on a decline just because, yeah. like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Every app is just trying to be another app. Anyways, for the Renegades, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so I, I joined in 2018. Um, so I've been, like, 14. And, yeah, so I, I've I've been training with them, like, Ever since I, I I would do like training with others as well, but always consistently with them. Um, yeah, man, it's like it's it's not just like I know it's, it's so cliche, but it's not just like a team. Like we're there because we want to like work towards something, but also just be there together. Yeah. Just like we all love each like bro. If we didn't like love each other, like no one has any beef at all. Mm-hmm. It's never no, just never like there's never been a beef. Yeah, even like anyone that like like a while ago was like dating or whatever. They broke up and then I didn't even know. And then like, we're like driving them. And then I was like, oh, but you guys are dating. They're like, oh, we actually broke up. And then they laugh about it. Yeah. It just like everything. Cool. Everyone's so like chill about everything. And, and you, how many people are on your team? I would say like 32. Holy shit. I think 32. I don't know the exact like exact yeah. number. And it's in it's in the low 30s. And they're all like different age groups, like older. And, or like yeah. 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 So we have like, 
we have our different like sections. We have like varsity, um, and then like adult. Um, yeah, I think I think varsity starts at like thirteen, um, and then like adult. There's no limit on it. So let's talk about the uh, Canada's Got oh, Talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your so team the was Renegades, literally, yeah. the Renegades was literally, you yeah. guys, like, how did that work? How'd you guys get to go into the Canada's Got Talent? Did you get an invite to do an audition? Like, yes. Or, yeah. Like, so cr- like, how it works, you got to get an invitation? <sighs> Not necessarily. Like, you can you can submit. Right. Um, yeah. So we, we knew about it from, I would say, August. Uh, August of last year. So almost a year ago. Um, and from, sorry. <laughs> yeah so we knew it from like from august and then we started kind of developing the routine um training for it and then we yeah we just started i think it was november november is when we actually performed it um or filmed it so like the whole like golden buzzer moment that was in november and it didn't air until like i don't know february i can't remember exactly when yeah th- or maybe march i don't know but it was it was like a whole long period of time that we couldn't say anything. It, I mean, like I maybe like it's like obviously my parents. I'm gonna tell my parents, or they, they were there. I don't know what to tell them, but yeah, no, it was. And then after like the next round was I think December. Next round was uh, and the last round that we like the final episode. Um, we actually did that same day, so we didn't have to wait to see it, which is really cool. Cause like we, we did it and then like we saw it right after we're like, okay, sick. <laughs> Cause the other times we have to like, we're like, Oh, I can't remember if this looked that good or that mm-hmm. looked whatever better than the other sections. But yeah, no, that was like, that was a, that was a great experience, man. Yeah. Like getting that golden buzzer, like it's one thing being on the show and then you get the golden buzzer. Like how did that feel like that moment? They Bro, hit it that? was, it was crazy. Cause like, honestly, I, we, we kind of joked about it before. Cause at that point it was, um, I think all the judges had their golden buzzer. So for us, it was, they did like a group golden buzzer. They said like they were like breaking the rules for it, whatever, because they haven't done that before. Um, where they have like the host and the judges um, all like at the same time. So we were like joking about it because for us, it wasn't really a possibility because all the golden buzzers were gone. So we're like, okay. Nah. we're not gonna get it or well, so we're there's just only a certain amount gonna, of them they can yeah, yeah. Like they each have one. oh really yeah. Plus, yeah so like let's say if if uh howie does a golden buzzer on the first episode right he's done oh i see yeah I see. he can't do any more okay, um okay. but because i guess they they decided on like doing a group one for us because i guess mm-hmm. they wanted to like give us one it was uh, that good it was even yeah. more surprising because we thought they were all gone yeah. and also the confetti look like feels exactly like what you expect it would feel like it's just like all around you and it's 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 a really like like sick moment yeah you know it looked very exciting like watching it on the video and stuff like yeah yeah. some man i I turn around is like on the ground like (laughs) crying i'm like (laughs) (laughs) was that that emotional for you too a little bit like (sighs) bro like i i feel like i don't get like emotional like like crying emotional not that there's anything wrong with it i just personally that's not my like like reaction to it naturally but it was definitely like not like a bad overwhelming but it was like whoa yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's confetti here like we're catching it putting it in like our pockets like whatever just like keep something people like keeping like their phone yeah. cases it was like it was a really cool moment yeah and uh you guys came third place yeah okay yeah well, so that's, 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 that's pretty damn pretty close good. So, yeah, like man. if you guys won what would have happened you win like a money point. money <laughs> and, and, no i yeah. um i think i don't even remember how much it was we went into it not even like we we're like oh we just want to like it's see like what we can do yeah. um on it and then we just we tried it out and then we made it to the next one we're like okay yeah. cool yeah, yeah, yeah all right we have maybe we have like a an okay shot for the next round yeah. but we nowhere getting into it we were just hoping because like you know with like tv like even if you film something, it's not like for sure that like yeah, someone's going to get like shown, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Like it's TV, like that's how things work, right? Or even like timing, like let's say they have a certain block of time, right, right, they have to shorten things. So we're like, okay, hopefully like they like, they show like the full thing. And then we were, we were on it and it was like, they played the full thing. And then we got the whole golden buzzer moment. We we're like, and then top three was like, it was crazy, man. And there's also like other like dance crews that were like, we're so like, we respect so much. Yeah. And to like compete with them was really, really sick. Especially because like they're in Vancouver. We're going to oh, compete yeah, yeah. with them again in uh, Arizona. We're going to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, HGI, which is Hip Hop International. It's like the Olympics of like hip hop. Oh, cool. It, like we did, we did like the nationals round. So like we make it to worlds. Um, and yeah, so we're doing worlds there. But 
I think, and then that same team is also competing. Um, a fresh uh, agreement, they're called. Nice. Yeah. And this was the first year, I believe, of Canada's Got Talent, right? Like, obviously, there's an yeah, America's they, one. This is the... uh, no, so I think they had it, like, years ago, like, maybe 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I and remember And then they, that, they, they brought it back now. So this is, like, the first season of, like, the, the revamp. Or so remake, so you, did you meet any of, like, the, the hosts or, like, the judges or whatever? Yeah. So, like, we yeah. talked like, to, talk like, the hosts. Um, the judges, we actually, like, not all of them. But we would see them in, like, the, uh, the lobby of, right, like, right. Um, either, like, the hotel or, like, the, uh, what's it called? the theater so we would, we would they would like set up food for us so um like at a certain time like okay like we have like dinner for you guys if we're like staying for a couple of days and how we would be like getting dinner with us we're like okay uh hi <laughs> crazy man like you're not sitting with us but like just like it's like you pick up your plate whatever it is and that was that was crazy because like i've been watching america's Got talent since i was like how old or like all I remember is just like knowing him being like a big face on it. Um, he's like an iconic like comedian. Right, also yeah. Cardinal. Um, yeah, he's Dangerous. like That's a he's good like song. the Drake before Drake. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Lily, and then Trish Stratus. I'm, I'm I haven't like seen a lot of like wrestling stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are you guys are chairs, so you probably maybe you know her, but um. Like Lily, I also watched like her YouTube videos when I was like younger, so mm -hmm. it was it was surreal. And then like Lindsay L. She's a great, like, um, I think a country singer. Um, yeah, it was. Oh, and then Simon. He came. We for also the last. saw. Yeah, we saw him like walking in the hall. It was just so weird <laughs> just seeing Simon them Cameron. like being humans. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you always see them on like a certain stage, whatever. Yeah, they yeah. have like it just it's it's wild. Did you talk with any of them? Like, do you have any uh, conversations? Not like I feel like the most would be like Howie, uh, and cool. then like Lindsay because we would be talking with her in the in the back. Like, oh, right, right. right. They're all. Uh, Canadian guests, yeah, because our judges, yeah, man, it's Canada, yeah. they're sick. They're they're honestly like, like really kind people. Mm -hmm. Even like hearing them talk, like they're just nice. That's awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. What a what a Did cool they experience. Even do Canadian bro. Idol anymore? Canadian Idol? Yeah, you know those ones? American I don't Idol? I don't know, oh, man. I don't think Wait, so. Was the thing. So Canada's Got Time. <laughs> Canadian I mean, Idol. America's Got Time. Is that the one with Adam Lambert? It's called or is America. That American Idol. That's no, right, that's so. American Idol. America, okay, because that's Adam the one Lambert. I remember. Adam Lambert. That's like, so long. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like the one I remember. <laughs> was he, he was a singer though, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, on, like, a, sorry, I mean a, a contestant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, right. I think it was a American Paula American Abdul. Abdul. Wait, he, he was the one that wore like the like mascara and like... Yeah, I think yeah. he had like a blue... I was blue rooting blue. for him, bro. Yeah, bro. Like that guy. I thought he was so sick. Funniest story. He's like, like the singer for Queen now. Funniest story. Is he not? Yeah, he sings. he's the singer for Queen, Adam Lambert. That's crazy. I haven't even heard him do anything. I saw him live, yeah. What's it called? Oh, no like, way. Yeah. Yeah. I remember back in like fucking like grade two, like me and my friend used to like bring his CD to class and every lunch we'd play his music. Adam Lambert. I remember, I remember all his songs and like all of <laughs> And every, I feel like the teachers in sick, got sick, got sick of him. Oh, Adam Lambert's going to come on. Yo, Adam yeah, Lambert, bro. if you're still doing anything, come on this pod. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, That would be kind of sick. I used to listen to Adam Lambert a little bit. I think he had one song. Adam Levine. Adam Levine. Yeah. He's also he's Canadian, Maroon right? Five. No, uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. Maroon 5? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Canadian. Let's, let's search that so. up. Fact check that. Fact <laughs> <Back> check that. <laughs> but what about? I think they do like I don't know how. It works. So if Canadian, they give you the money, but I think they do like they set up like some sort of show for people too. Whatever. Oh no, he, he's not. He's not Canadian. I don't know because I know American. Uh, America's Got Talent would do something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think like they put, they'd set up like a show for them in like show, Vegas. Like Vegas. Or whatever. Um, I can't remember. I think I think there's something Vegas related for this one. Um. But you also, I think they gave like a chunk of money, something, <laughs> something else, and then uh, a GT, like like a Nissan GTR. Oh shit! <laughs> Everyone shares it. So we also know you you did the music video with Skira. Do you like? Have you done like any other music videos, like a backup dancer or like a bigger artist or just? Any? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I, I I wouldn't say like like too many. Like um, this guy Black at a Dawn. Um, he's a rapper. There's like, there's definitely more. I just can't remember. I've also, I, I did like a YouTube video. Um, and it, do you remember the song like "Do Like That"? I think it was like a Afrobeats type. There's, there's an artist, uh, Credit Day. Um, and he's like, I think he's Nigerian, and he saw the video, and then like when he performed in Toronto, he like hit me up and like. 
like fed me and like he's just like super nice guy and like that was like a pretty big song that i like i was into and we did a video on like youtube and he saw it and then nice. asked me it's really cool um okay you, we wanted to talk about some other things you branch out to so you do the dancing you've done some music stuff so you yeah. also do photography as well right talk yeah. a little bit about that i mean like that's more of like um it's like a fun thing yeah, like yeah. A, like a I, like self-taught mm -hmm. youtube videos sure. my brother's actually a photographer um so i had some help there uh he's he's sick uh but yeah like i just honestly anything on that page except for i think maybe one or two posts was on oh, i should have brought it i have a rx 100 which is uh like a compact like it's literally like a point and shoot but it's like sony's i don't know if you guys know it um it's like sony's version of like a uh professional like camera so you can do manual mode and everything on it it's like it's pretty like like if you were to like zoom in like you can see like details that was like from like 2012 but i bought it recently off like marketplace mm -hmm. and i've like having like they always say like the best camera is one that you have the one that you have on you mm -hmm. so like if i if i had like if i didn't have that little one it wouldn't have been in my bag maybe i wouldn't gotten that shot that i posted mm -hmm. right so like if i were to have my like um my dad has a a rebel t4i mm -hmm. and if i were to have that it might be a little bit too big to carry with me like on an everyday basis if, like, like if i'm going to dance right i'm not going to carry a camera with me yeah. but i might carry that other small one so like i've been i've been really enjoying like just like having an eye f like to like see like oh like, that's sick i'll take it right yeah. and then like also like learning how to like edit um or even like not edit too much but i don't know that it's fun so mm -hmm. yeah good. I, yeah i haven't really seen the account you've seen it yeah i followed it the other day i thought the pictures were really cool thank yeah, you yeah, yeah they're I nice appreciate it. Yeah, cool. yeah. oh you haven't what, seen what's it the you gotta called? check it out man. it's called uh <laughs> your dog nico that was my um my personal like account because i have like my main account you guys know and then i have like my, my personal account i probably like that was that, Who's nico? that one uh that so my middle name is domenico oh um after like my my grandfather mm. so um i just took like the last part of it because like one of my dance teachers was like oh that's like almost like like Nico because I was like trying to look for like an artist name. Fun fact: my first artist name was Nico. It was like all caps. It was like N. The I was taken, so I had to do an exclamation mark, like pink. Oh it, I I I liked the name, but mm -hmm. I didn't like the way it was spelled out and everything. And then after I just when I, I I think I took that off, and then I just posted my newer music as just like my name. So I'm like, I feel like if I were to change my name after a certain amount of time like or like have like nico and then like five years later it's like a tattoo like i might have to stick with it and maybe i don't like it so my name like i i i'm fine with i, I like my name so like i'm never gonna get tired of my own name yeah. like not like a nickname that i gave myself you know what i mean but um yeah i remember seeing like aiden skira's poll he's like oh should i keep my name or like change it i'm like bro aiden yeah. skira is yeah, a sick dope. name yeah. like oh don't talk about the names with this guy Oh, yeah, this guy's always changing. Oh, oh yeah, me started. Stuff, man. What <laughs> name all your all your accounts? <laughs> I feel like yeah. I just like sneak this to you right now. <laughs> okay, if you want to go all the way all back, the way back man. to when you started. Okay, so like it started. You do music. This is a Matt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sick. I produce and, and make a little bit of songs on the side. Um, Dope. Yeah. Uh, 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 show me that after you. Yeah, That's of sick. course. Yeah. Of two years, by the way. So okay, so wait, I started with the Brando Gang stuff. So that was like a spam account I had. It was like a meme account. Okay. That okay, I was under Brando Gang. It was a collective, and then after that, I think I went by um, Petro Beats, okay, mm -hmm. and then after that, I went by Prod by Petro, <laughs> and then after that, Petro Sound. Petro, no, no, it was Petro Sound. Then Prod by Petro. So you shouldn't get tattoos ever. <laughs> no, 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 I'm very indecisive. And then after Prod by Petro, it was Nick Petro like music. And then <laughs> Is like, that your last name? No, I'm not gonna say it on here. Oh, um, the and, then, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and then so like now it's just Nick Petro because like Nick's my my not That's sick. it's not my first it is my first name it's a short form like Nicholas is my first yeah, yeah, name yeah. right so Nick. That's what everyone kind of calls me. Like no one's gonna call me Petro. I feel like it sounds stupid a little bit. Like and also like being Petro sounds like Metro, right? Yeah, yeah. So like I was trying to get away from that. I was trying to get away from people like confuse me with Metro Boomin. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't want to be Metro Boomin. I want to be yeah. my own thing. So then Petro Boomin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, people were calling me Petro Boomin. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is bad. Like even though it is my last name, like I'm not gonna say it, but it is my last name because I don't, I don't know who's on here. Like gonna, your, cho your chosen last name. Uh, yeah, no, no. Because the problem is, is like I'll say my name and I'll say all these these little. 
I know you could easily get it, but what I'm trying to say is like, there's weirdo sure, sure, motherfuckers sure. online <laughs> that are gonna like fucking find. I'm paranoid, yeah, yeah, okay? Anyways, yeah. anyways so hit me up. I have his address. So yeah, so so, so oh, no, sorry, yours. Yeah, their address. Yeah. Okay. So so Petro is like the artist name that I created for myself. But then I was like, okay, how do I do it so that I can kind of like. Yeah. do this stuff like you guys aren't just gonna call me Petro I feel like that's kind of weird like hey Petro it's like, it's like ah. yeah. so then I was like okay call me Nick but I keep the Petro it's like a duality type thing mm -hmm. you know you got my real name which is actually my grandfather's name and then you got the Petro short form so it's like almost like it's just the I elevated like one, yeah. Like, yeah. Petro sounds cool yeah like, exactly. Yeah, but, but now I, now people still call me Petro. Like in songs, like they'll mention Petro, like in in Hattie's yeah, well, album. Short, yeah, but that's like, sick part. though. But that's yeah, good though, right? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. they're not gonna go Nick Petro. <laughs> like, yeah, I just, know it's tough, it's man. Still your name. Yeah, and then you, you did the this line Petro got that gas because like Petro Canada. Gas but then I was like, yeah, no, I can't. Gotta get away from the gas station because <laughs> Petro Canada is every thing. video, every cover just yeah. at the gas station. Yeah, no, no, because it's like, yeah, it was all gonna be gas themed, oh, right? Sick. Well, it kind of makes sense, right? Because no, Petro got, sick. yeah, 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 it would yeah. be sick. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that's that like out. That's like a Canadian, like, yeah. like just it like is, symbol, a, right? it is, yeah, it is. But I don't know. I hate like usernames and things. I wish we just went by like numbers or something. I don't know. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Because it gives me, it's frustrating, right? Because like you're trying to find a name, like especially on Instagram, TikTok, and like you don't have like the name. It has to be like an underscore or like a bro. They gotta oh my fix God. that. They gotta fix there, that. There's um my like Google like like S I don't know what it's called SEO. Yeah. Yeah. So the search engine optimization. Yeah. There's this guy that's Canadian. That's Alexander Panetta. That is a journalist for like something Canada related. I, like he does like a lot of stuff for like politics. So if you search my name, you might see like Trump or something, and I'm like, oh my god. Or like just like a Leon Panetta, which was like um, an Italian like politician. So even to like get my name as like a Google like search thing, right. like you have to search like either Alexander Panetta dancer yeah. or Alexander Panetta musical artist. Mm -hmm. And it's like no one's gonna search that. No, though. but my Instagram handle has to be an underscore because of that oh. one dude. I'm like, can he just take like Alex or yeah. something? I'm like, can we swap? Yeah, dude, there's a guy with Nick Petro. Okay, he's out there and he hasn't posted something since 2012. Damn. Tell that no, bastard to delete his. It's even account. worse when they're inactive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm like, bro, screw oh, you. Like, I've been DMing you, him like yeah. for years. Alex, you can't just like, report it somewhere. No can can we swap? I'll pay, I think I'll pay I, you. I know what I hate Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna say <laughs> it on this podcast. Change your damn service. Make it like Discord, so everyone can have the damn names they want. Let's get right into this. You know all this accomplishments you had, these shows, Canada's Got Talent. You know being on the Renegades, your nice little team there. Let's talk about you're also in the acting space. So you're coming yeah. out with a new Netflix show, right? Like you're in acting one. How's it? Yeah. Happen? Um. I I did like a little bit of background um, mixed in with that, but the main one was actually like dancing in that one. Right. Um. So there, it's like it's called Thirteen the Musical, and uh, August twelfth, I believe. Um, yeah, and like so, there's there's the main cast, which are like the the singers and stuff, and they're also all great dancers as well. Um, and then there's there's fourteen of like the core dance, like uh, members, whatever. And I was one of the fourteen. So there's seven girls, seven guys. Um, and the actual age range of that like they were casting for like 12 to 15 so um i realistically i don't even think i should have been like <laughs> I, like i was 17 at the time so i don't even think i would have been able to like do it but then submitted anyways and then um and it all worked out luckily they like were okay with it i think there was another guy that was like i think 17 but he was a he was no four seventeen. 17 so like i have a late birthday um but yeah no that was honestly like such such a good experience I'm very, very grateful for that one. And like, I'm hoping to like book something else soon that's like similar, but very, very good experience. Like, just like, like mainly they were like 13, but like everyone was like so professional. Wow. Like everyone was really good. Um, the whole process was smooth. Everything was good. Uh, the choreographers were like legends. <laughs> like they're, they're so sick. Um, so just that whole, everything, even like seeing how like, things are made mm -hmm. like um retakes of like why certain things like have to be like better next ones whatever right mm -hmm. seeing like the set design they um they would take certain like schools and like change them and everything just seeing like the detail is so sick and like having like the logos um where did you guys film it uh, i think like mainly like like near here yeah, for okay. some of it um other spots were in like 
I want to say somewhere like a little bit closer to like Aurelia, but like not not really? that far. And then like um, I think Brampton, Aurelia, some in Saga. Really? I I, yeah. I couldn't I can't like remember exactly. Like, no, I think oh, I, I think it was like um like a football field. Oh, something. Aurelia Terriers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it was like there, but I it was somewhere. Yeah, there, yeah. It was somewhere early morning, mm-hmm. so I don't know if the details are all there, but. Yeah, no, it was it was a really really sick process. Uh, that was from the span like I think we did two months of rehearsals and then two months of um, actually like, shooting and stuff. And how is it? Uh, how was it doing like a musical like with with, with cameras? Yeah, it was honestly like I feel like it wasn't you get too tired different. Doing mul- multiple takes and shit. Uh, no, I mean, we like, if I'm going to be like, like tonight, I have like a rehearsal, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to be doing that dance right. over and over and over and over again. So like the repetition is something that we're all used to. Um, honestly, I feel like <laughs> most of the struggle for me was just like, it was hot outside. A lot of it was like outdoors mm-hmm. and it was like 32 degrees. I'm wearing like a, like a double layered varsity jacket and it was, it just got hot, but Inside was always like nice, whatever. But it was, it was, yeah. That was one thing that I think it's like no one can control that, right? And I also like I feel like I heat up more than like the average person. So people, some people are chilling, and I'm like, <laughs> right. So but how yeah. is it on this podcast? Yeah, there's, it's, there's, it's there's, there's like here. ladies with like like <laughs> like fans, and like if you're sweating, whatever, they like dab you up. So like Sounds it's good. it's always fine, yeah. <laughs> but then there's also like we would always have to like wear like masks or anything, and um, everyone gets makeup. So <laughs> I would just take it off and it was really weird sighting just seeing like makeup on like the, the mask. But no, it was honestly like a flawless like process. It was really cool. cool. So it's coming out in August, you said, right? So like next yeah. month? So yeah. We'll I, I think last year we ended up film, or at least I ended up filming. I think they did more after um, with like mm-hmm. the main character. Uh, they ended filming, I think like for me, August 5th and it's coming August 12th. So like literally like just over a year since so like, stopped you, filming. you do more of the dancing in it like are you do talk yeah. a lot or I mean, no uh okay. there's no there's no talking oh, i mean okay. we do like um we'll do like vocal like stuff like if it's like a group chant we'll like we'll like yeah. sing and stuff but um the the recording like the actual music and like stuff that was recorded was with the the main cast yeah. um yeah there was like some moments like uh there's like there's, the trailer's out actually um so you can like spot me here and there i'm always wearing that jacket so it's okay. actually cool to like be able to spot me because it's always like the same thing, um, and I'm always casted in like things as like the bully. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, maybe I look like an asshole. I don't know. You ever see those TikToks where like they the do like Disney American bully. bully be like, and they're like, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah. do a little dance." Card. We like, have different Whoa. feeds, bro. I don't know. No, you don't know that one. No. Oh my, it's <laughs> funny. Like the American bully like stereotype. Yeah, that's like, what are you doing here right now? Like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I, I had to like throw we like are the there was like a section. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? like, there's a girl a there's a girl in a no what actually something doing? different when i was younger i was like i had to actually get punched at um but it was like fake but it just looked real um yeah there's one section where like there's like this girl and she's uh she's like at like the school with like a sign saying like be more eco-friendly and then i take like the plastic forks and i throw them at her <laughs> and i i like that's like probably like the most of like acting that goes into it but Screw I'm, your eco friend, bro. I'm always like some like. I, it's been like I, I was like in this uh this Chinese movie that was filmed in uh, Miss Saga, and um, it was like, like the lines were in English. Like actually, that was like probably like one of the only times I've done like uh like lines and everything on camera. Mm. Um, though either voice over it or I, I can't even watch it because like it's there and I would have to pay like a lot of money. Were to you the bully it. in that one too? Yes. No. No. So actually, no. <laughs> The opposite that time. Oh, you were like the kid. Something, who was I, always bullied? Bullied. Like, yeah. There's always like some sort of bully dichotomy. Like I was like, like drawing bullying. and stuff, and then they had like this like a uh, this pencil like it was like a printed sketch. Yeah. And then I just like pretend to like be drawing it. So I'm like, like almost like, like really Jonah talented Hill artist. Super bad where he's yeah, like drawing like, just the, like oh, so you're like a little Mads Mikkelsen then? No, no, where he does Mads Mikkelsen has films that he does in America, and then he has his like. uh his foreign films. Okay. And in his foreign films, he's like the nice guy. Oh, but then okay. all his American, he's always a villain. <laughs> like Wait, always. which one, which movie is he in? Which one? Yeah. He's like in the new Fantastic Beasts. Um, he's in this other movie called Polar. Okay. He's like a villain. It's almost like um, once he does, time uh, in Hollywood. With he's, like in, he's in uh, one of the James Bonds. Oh, he's like the evil guy, right? Yeah. 
He's oh, going to be yeah. in uh, the new Indiana Jones. Jeez. I don't oh, know if he's yeah, like yeah. a villain in I that either. Guy, but he's honest. the good guy. But then in the in foreign Greece. films, like he's like in another round. Nice like dude. these films are really yeah. good. And like he's just, he's like the main guy. Isn't he like typically like a psycho in like those <laughs> movies, like in the American ones? Yeah, he's, he's like, like, oh, he's Hannibal people. too. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hannibal. Yeah, yeah, he's in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> like he's, but he's just a good guy in, yeah, in the Europe. The ones he's, it's uh, like Red Dalton funny. from yeah. uh, Once Upon a Time, right? Where he goes and does the uh, Italian films and he's the like... Spaghetti Westerns. Yeah, Spaghetti <laughs> Westerns. Yeah, you ever <laughs> that's see that That's sick movie? though. No, no, I, I don't... Uh, honestly, yeah. I don't even know that guy, but... Um, oh, no, it's from uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Him. Maybe when you see him, you no. Maybe, yeah. Who, the Hannibal guy is going to see him one day? No, I'm saying yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll see him when one. he sees him, he'll <laughs> see him. Yeah. The guy, man, they were talking about Matt. Like a picture, you mean? Okay, picture yeah, yeah. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shake Pull hands that with up, him. Jamie. Pull that Pull up. up. We don't have a Jamie on this podcast. <laughs> Sorry. I wish we but yeah, you're the bully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <often time. laughs> Pretty much. Like, it just, that always happens. I don't know why. I mean, like, maybe because, like, I'm maybe, like, broader, like, yeah, I, don't I don't know. Typecast. Have you ever bullied someone? <laughs> in, <laughs> in something, in, it was like this like commercial for like, um, it was called like the new Rocky. I think it was like. Like in real life. It was, uh, it's like this guy that's like a really like big boxer or whatever. Um, and they called him like the new Rocky kind of thing. And so it was kind of the, the, it was like a commercial for when he was younger. And there was this, um, this kid that was playing him. And he was the one that, like, I was bullying. And you can, like, fully cut this, and it sounds like I'm, like, You're an like actual, a bully. like, bully in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was, like, I, I was, like, saying, like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? And, like, this, this is in L.A., too. I was yeah. there for dance, and then there was, like, I got casted somehow. Mm. Um, and, yeah, and then I was, like, what are you going to do? you going to hit me, whatever, right? And then it goes, so, and I go, Phew. <laughs> and I literally just like I drop or whatever and yeah. like that's like his like story of like how I he came into box. boxing and yeah. stuff um, so that was, that was pretty cool yeah. so wait, that was, was a commercial fun. for another movie I, I can't remember exactly what it was Alexander the bully <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bro, headline from Canada's Got Talent the bully <laughs> <laughs> Jesus good shit. John Luca the Todo the two <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> show a picture of him like scared yeah. to be beside yeah. me yeah. just cause yeah. like, <laughs> We all got to have middle names like that, like with the quotation. Yeah. What, would, what would Julian's be? Petro the Indecisive. No, Petro no. the Indecisive. Julian is... <laughs> Julian D2 DeTulio. There yeah. you go. But that's just like... That's nah, just you got to give him something. Too that's too like, cool. Nah, you Julian. I don't know. See, they don't got anything good. Yeah. <laughs> too good. No, something too like good. where he just... Do, is he scared to do anything? Julian, the scared of everything, the <laughs> scared of everything. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> he's Julian, like next, next, the Jake next. Paul Dick Rider, the no, <laughs> um, Right. So, where do you want to take your talents, like next? So, you, the amount of stuff you've done, you've already done the bullying. Mm, you've already <laughs> done that. <laughs> like, what else do you kind of like want to do? Like, or people, people you want to work with, for example? Or, yeah, man. I mean, like, I haven't really thought about like who I want to work with, but uh, I just think. Like whatever, like the do we say that maybe? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, yeah, start it over. Yeah, because yeah. for so, the clip, yeah. I don't really like have someone in mind that I like want to work with. Like whatever, like goes in like the path of it. Because really, I'm just trying to focus on just getting better before. Because like, if I really want to do this, I really need to like put the time in and or even have the time to do it. So I, I, I don't know. I just focus on like for music. Let's say, um, working with people that are around me, like Aiden. Uh, I have a friend Tommy that he does music as well, mm -hmm. and yeah, I haven't I haven't really thought about it. But like, if we're to say like celebrities, like I've always loved like Don Tolliver, um, Posty. Don Tolliver's the okay, best. Okay, but so yeah. to get into this, like, so what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do? Like in the end? Yeah, I feel as, like like, a, like do you want to be like, a dancer little, yeah. on a team for like a while? Do you want to start a team? Yeah. Do you want to teach dance? Do you I wanna, think. Honestly, I, I don't have like a certain plan. Like I think my main goal is music, okay. but I'm not I I am not gonna ever stop doing anything else. It's more oh, of like sure. a like a main focus of like like doing music, but still like I'm not gonna stop doing dance. Like yeah, I'm still yeah. gonna maintain everything. Like no, of course and, it'll be and then all like the hobbies sure. like like graphic design. Um, oh, and also like I go to I go to Miami Ad School for um, uh, art directing. So I'm doing a lot of like advertising, like focused work and stuff. So that'll also be like 
that so I, I that's like my passion in terms of like for like job wise whatever right um yeah man like i i really just i really want to do music and just be known music like for music um make people like feel either like excitement or whatever it is that like made me feel so amped to like listen to something or just mm-hmm. keep listening to the mm-hmm. same song for like a month straight and not like get sick of it just stuff like that that's like really like the goal more the enjoyment part of it and just like m- like making experiences through music right, and just right. performing as well yeah awesome it's it's good when you have the dance that goes with the music because now you're like oh, yeah. double-edged sword not really the double-edged sword but like you're yeah, more yeah, versatile yeah. because you can dance on stage right mm-hmm. you can also make the music so now you got like you know different angles yeah. that you can kind of bring to the it table it definitely helps like it makes me like less like i'm not nervous to perform as in like my stage presence or anything i'm it's more of just like the actual like people there like like just like casual nerves so like, i'm very lucky that like i've been able to be on stages i've with mini pops i've been able to like use a mic and have my voice being like on monitors like it's something to get used to so i'll probably have to re get used to it again because i haven't done it in a while but it's it, honestly like yeah i'm very lucky to have had the dance to go with it so then i can do both like i i wouldn't i wouldn't be like dancing full out whatever if like i don't know i don't know like if my my music is like very dancey, but yeah, like it definitely helps for performances. Um, we didn't ask you this, but like, what's your yeah. favorite, like, kind of, I guess you call in dance, you call like genre of like, you know, jazz. Like, what is your favorite, like, kind of dance type to do? Or definitely like hip hop. Hip hop. What, yeah. what about crump? I, I've like, I've, I've, I just the way you said it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I've trained in crump before. It's not like my main focus. Um, yeah. I've trained in crump. Like since what? What is Crump? So it, it, I think you don't even know when you asked. It's gonna be like oh, I just know Tiag's mentioned oh. it. Like he was in Crump before, right? So uh, that's like I don't want to like give the wrong information, but I'm pretty sure it was on the West Side in the States that I started. Um, I think Tight Eyes was like one of the one of the like originators. Yeah, he mentioned Tight Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So pretty much like just like. Crump, he probably said, but like crumping, like started out with like instead of fighting. Also, it was connected with like clowning, right? So like, um, I, th- I, oh my god, I could be totally off here, but from what I know, clowning was like because colors are a big thing with gang violence and everything, and like just being like in gangs, they would wear like every color, and so like kind of like that's like the clowning, whatever, right? You have like all the colors, so you can't like it's like neutral. Right. Um, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to like yeah, yeah. be wrong yeah, in this, yeah. but uh. Yeah, like so, I did crump a little bit, but that wasn't like really like a, it's never been a main focus. It's definitely a really hard style. It's very impressive, really cool. Like it's it, it's crazy. But I think I focus on mainly like hip hop, and then there's other like funk styles like uh, locking, and I also do popping. Um, do you pop and lock? Very different things. Wait, Every, what? Everyone, yeah, so pop. Uh, there there is like a like, genre that's like pop locking, but generally when you say like popping and locking what does it mean to do two either? separate things <laughs> so i said i have to like do it right but uh I'm so like that, popping right? is like when you oh, okay. boom, ska, ska, Yo, this is right sick. so it's like it's literally yeah. like you're popping but also like stuff like animation stuff is like Holy also shit, popping dude. um but yeah this isn't like nothing but uh and then locking it's a lot more like funk so yeah. you can see <laughs> is very yeah. different right it's so different. So like when some people like say it like uh, that it's like the same thing. I think there is somewhere in LA that like there is like a group that does like they call they call like the genre they do like pop locking, but in general like popping and locking are like different. Okay. Yeah. I didn't there's a whole another world of you know terms I'm not even aware of at yeah, all. Yeah, man. And like it's crazy. It, it, it's also like house. Uh, I like to do uh, dance hall. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Yeah. Do you think um people who dance like it's kind of like just naturally comes to them, or you think people like you know there's obviously people who are like not really good at dancing, like they're stiff. Do you think like Mm -hmm. you can learn how to like be really good at it, or is like kind of just a natural? I say I say both, like both, both, like either one or the other or together, right? Like some people um might be better at like freestyling than like learning choreo or retaining choreo. Um, some people might not be good at freestyling, but they're like beasts at choreo. Yeah. So like everyone has like their different things or even like someone that's starting out. Like for me, like I had the love for it, but like with, like you can be as 
good as you want, but without like the training and everything. So you still need that, like tons of like rehearsals and stuff. Um, same with like anything, right? Um, I feel like dance is like one thing that you can tell like someone hasn't like trained in, but some people are just like really good naturally. But, um, but also like on the other side, like if someone isn't as like experienced in dance and you can like, they're not as comfortable with it, you can fully grow into being a beast, like a, like a really comfortable, like sick dancer. So it really depends. It's more, it's more about like <laughs> drive yeah. than anything. Yeah. But also like having it, the drive and like the love for the, the culture and like for everything with it. That combined. Yeah. Yeah. And then also like if you have an interest, it's probably cause you've danced before or you like enjoy it. So like, like I feel like if you, feel like you're decent at it you lean towards it then you're probably gonna be decent right and um do you have a trouble with like memorization for example like you have to know these dances like in or like i mean like it's do it in parts right yeah yeah yeah. but like it's like you mess up here and there but it doesn't happen often for people like in like in the crew like there's not many times we like mess up the steps if anything it's like because how long do you guys practicing. practice like a dance for like you said sometimes you can do it for like practice like two months right or something Bro, honestly like it's it changes a lot like sometimes we'll have like two weeks to do an entire set and then sometimes we'll have like a month month and a half it really like varies and then we'll fill that time with like like usually when it gets closer to competitions it's practically every day with maybe like one day off a week or two days off a week um for like three hours each day at least um yeah it's like it gets like it gets intense but yeah like forgetting stuff like it doesn't really happen often uh maybe even like people like like drop in classes where it's like you just go into a certain class you learn a piece of choreo you mess up here and there but it's not like it's not like the end of the world if someone messes up it's more about like getting back onto it because like if you can like just like get back on track with what it is it's, it's almost like more impressive right yeah, yeah yeah also like no one really knows like what you're gonna do either like you could uh, just play choreo, it off. if you're learning the same piece that everyone knows then you're definitely gonna know but, but like i'm saying like the audience though like you could te- mm-hmm. you could make a mistake but then like play it off like so it kind of looks natural you know yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah. for sure like uh, that's what i'm saying like also like getting back onto it right, or like right. or not making it obvious like for example like the justin bieber thing where i didn't know if it was going to come up not necessarily a mistake but it could have been right so i was like like you kind of like train yourself to be professional that way where you're like okay if this is going to come up here let's be careful and go boom and then if if it is the right spot i see other people doing it then i know it's the right spot i'll continue if not i'll go boom swoo, like get in something else right you just like yeah that's good yeah. um and yeah so i want to talk a bit about like your parents were they always a big influence in this like were your parents big like dancers yeah. or, or they just enjoyed it and like how were they like kind of motivating you or like were they on board with it or like they were like i don't know if you should do this like mm-hmm. about that like, i'm glad you asked that yeah. uh like my parents are a big reason as why i'm able to do so many things uh they've been like so supportive i, I mean like my dad says he's like a dancer but more of like a, like an italian yeah, yeah, like yeah, dancer yeah, yeah. like right um but I think I'm, like, one of the only dancers in, like, my immediate family. And then I have a cousin that dances. Um, But, yeah, like, my parents have been so, so, so supportive. Like, they didn't really, like, tell me to do certain things, like, if I didn't want to do them. Like, they wouldn't put me, like, I wanted to do soccer. So they put me in soccer, whatever, right? Um, For dance, like, they knew I liked dancing. They're like, okay, let's try it out. And I was like, okay, cool, right? So, and, like, also, like, the driving and everything, like, before I got my license, like, literally all the time i was like get driven and like with like running his rehearsals like they happen like they happen often or like whatever it is like so it's 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 without them i literally couldn't have like made it to like all these things that i'm doing or even like gotten the support for like like funding and stuff like that like even to the point where like let's say if they're helping me with like like getting like all this training when i was like younger or whatever like that's expensive right? yeah so honestly like I I owe it all to them, yeah, man. Like, really good, true. Sure. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm glad you asked that. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an awesome thing, you know. When your parents are there for you to support, so very lucky. It's motivated, right? So yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, re- we're reaching the two minute point here. I think that was an awesome way to kind of wrap it up. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah man. for sure. Um, it was very awesome having you on. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank we, you guys. I we started recording this like 10:30 in the morning. Like, <laughs> just had, like skip work. Drew was gonna yeah, go to work yeah, in like tw- 20 minutes. But like, yeah, we did it. It's awesome. One of our earliest episodes. We really enjoyed this one. 
Again, thank you for coming on. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I awesome. appreciate it so much. If you have anything you want to shout out, we're definitely going to put all his links in the description, okay. guys. Make sure to go check out everything he's doing. Yeah. Like he said, new movie in August uh, next month. Well, and this is dropping. It could already be August. But <laughs> yeah, just stay tuned for it all. And it's going to be dope. So he's a talented guy. It. Check it out. Thank yep. you. Check him out. His yep. new music stuff he's going to be yeah. working on. That people Definitely like, like stay tuned. I don't know when it's going to come out. Whenever I have time to like get a whole plan ready. But yeah it's still it's still it's always the grind yeah. anyways we'll, we'll definitely be there to promote it on our socials so yeah for sure and listen to us on spotify apple music apple music everywhere hot day <laughs> amazon and watch the youtube uh, like subscribe check comment. check out our yeah. clips on tiktok and everything instagram so yep and yeah. dm us if you want to be on the show for Go sure all right on master podcast oh we'll see you guys later master bastard <laughs> <laughs> all right see you guys <laughs> peace all right.